Hey guys, I received two seed orders this past week, so I thought I would go ahead and share with you because these are both places that I have not purchased from before, so I thought I'd introduce you to them a little bit. I will link them in the description box below. I do not get anything for you using that link. There's no affiliate link or anything. It's just for ease of finding them. All right, so the first one I ordered from was Sustainable Seed Company, and the reason I went with them is they had a specific seed that I wanted and they had better shipping costs than the other place that I found the seed at. So I went with them and the reason I went with them is they had skyscraper sunflowers and I really want them for a project that I'm doing next year and so I went ahead and bought them now so that I wouldn't um, forget or not be able to get them. I just went ahead and got it while I was thinking about it and while I was there. <laughs> I looked around and I also got these organic Easter egg radishes. I'm very excited about this. I'm going to be planting these this fall if all goes well. I did find it interesting that this one had um, a big sticker on the back. This is the germination rate and some other information that the other one didn't have. So I don't know if this is more the norm for them or if that is. But either way, I'm pretty happy with my purchase. Hopefully it all grows nicely. All right. Second one that I shopped at was Mary's Heirloom Seeds, and I heard about this company from Rose at Wholesome Roots, and they had a sale last week, I think, and Rose had posted about it in her group, and I'm like, yeah, I'll go check it out, and she ended up having some stuff that I wanted to get, and so I don't know if the sale is still running. I will link her website below, but the deal was she had some of her seeds on sale for $0.99 cents a pack. Um, all but one of them that I got was the 99 cents and then she also had a thing I think it was if you bought vegetable seeds and herb seeds then you got a free seed packet I'm not sure exactly if there was like a minimum or whatever but I ended up getting a free seed packet which I thought was pretty awesome so I'll just show you what I got I got some loofahs I know everyone is on the loofah bandwagon and I kind of blame living traditions for that <laughs> But um, I really like loofahs since I was a kid. They're a really great option if you're wanting something more sustainable. You can get like black walnut hull um, scrubby sponges and things like that, but they're pretty expensive. And the loofahs are awesome. You can put them in homemade soap when you make it. So you've got a built-in scrubber. You can use them to scrub dishes in the kitchen. And they are um, compostable. And so when you're done with it, you don't have to like fill up a landfill. You can just toss it in your compost. So I think that's awesome. So I grabbed some of these. I got black cherry tomatoes. They just sounded, they just sounded delicious, and I really like tomatoes. Blue potted peas. These sounded really intriguing, really pretty, and I um, wanted to get another pea variety to try to get in this fall if I can get my stuff together by next month. I got sweet banana peppers. Um, my husband likes like a pickled kind of banana pepper on his sandwiches and we usually buy them and so I thought maybe next year I could try making some. Our peppers have actually done really well this year. Fingers crossed they do well next year. This is the only packet that I did not spend 99 cents on. I spent more on this one. Um, I can't remember exactly how much. That was a few dollars. But this is moss curled parsley and I use a lot of dried parsley so I thought maybe I would try growing parsley. Um, this fall and see if I can get some of it dried so I don't have to buy it at the store. Green arrow peas. These are also hopefully to go in for this fall. They sounded really good. I don't remember exactly what I liked about them, but I literally read like every single pea description she had in there and I ended up picking these and the other, the blue ones. Got red burgundy onions. They sounded delicious. And I can't really eat onions right now. I need to do the protocol to where I can hopefully eat them again. I just, you know, I have to remember to do it three times a day and it's a pain. So, but these, I really want to try growing onions. I know they're from seed and I know that that's more tricky, but I would really like to try. So, red burgundy onions. Lemon queen sunflowers. I really love yellow flowers because to me, they just look happy. And sunflowers are kind of like... They're kind of like the quintessential yellow flower. And so I have a few varieties of sunflower and I wanted some more. And the lemon one, I don't know, it just looked so beautiful. So lemon queen sunflowers. I got yellow scallop squash. I don't have any yellow scallop squash seeds yet. And my, um, my parents gave us one in a box of zucchini that they had grown. And it is like the prettiest little squash you have ever seen. So I really wanted to try growing some next year. And then this was our free seed packet, got butterfly garden mix. Um, I need to look it back up, but I'm pretty sure it's just a lot of really beautiful flowers, which, you know, who doesn't love that? So, that is what I got. So far, I'm happy with my purchase. We'll see how things grow when I get them planted. Um, 
but I will link them below if you want to go check them out. I don't know if she still has the deals going. You can go check it out and see. Either way, I like supporting small companies. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely love Baker's Creek. Like, I will still shop there. Definitely. But she had some stuff that Baker's Creek did not have. Like, this company did too. They didn't have the skyscraper sunflowers that I really, really wanted. So... It's good to not always maybe stick with just one company. If you kind of have a handful of them that you know are good, you get good quality seeds, they've, they've got some, some good varieties, then it, it's nice to be able to kind of shop around to get the variety that you're wanting. So, sorry if the camera's a little bit shaky, guys. I did an arm workout just a little bit ago that I haven't done before, and my arms feel kind of sore and jello-esque, so it's going to be a bit, a bit shaky. But I'll let you guys go. If you have any questions, please comment below. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.